gotten into stand up. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't start doing that until I moved to Berlin. And, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like, I wasn't in the happiest place. And okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, that like second winter in Berlin, you know, that I feel, I always feel like that's the worst one. Like the first one, you're like, everyone tells you it's going to be bad, but then that sets you up to like, you kind of get through it. Cause you're like, <laughs> well, that wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Plus you're still new in Berlin. You're like, this city is so fun. People are amazing. I saw the sunrise, <laughs> you know, and and then the second winters, I usually, I find like, that's the one that really hurts me. Like if I see someone who's yeah. really sad, I'm like yeah, second yeah. winter, they're like, yeah. <laughs> um, and there's and, people that they arrive to Berlin on winter yeah, and, winter, and that's yeah. the worst. You think that's worse? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like you have, you just arrived to Berlin. Yeah. You don't know anyone. Right. And then it's completely dark for months, cold, right. but it can only yeah, get it's better. horrible. The problem right. is when you had it good because you came to Berlin with the hook that, yeah. wow, Berlin in summer. Uh, and yeah, then yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it's gone. And then you're like, oh, yeah. you experienced a good thing. And now you're in the valley of of, of that. Yeah. <laughs> the <This> suffering. <laughs> suffering. <laughs> yes. When you come in the winter, it can only get better. Yeah. But Plus the thing like, survive. Like, that first three months, you're just trying to figure out your animal dog anyway. So you <laughs> might as well just be inside, like, refreshing the Auslander Behorda website to try and get, <laughs> yeah. to try and get You know, it's summertime, then you're going to be like, oh, no, I used up my, my visitor's visa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, when I started doing stand-up here, part of what was really appealing to me about that art form was that the idea of the performance was just to have fun and laugh. Like, okay. like, and it's, this is one of those things that's like, well, yeah, no, duh. Yeah. Right. But mm -hmm. so many things I've done have had these, you know, other ways to evaluate them. And just like that idea, like, oh, we're going to set aside this time, this hour, these two hours to just like, the goal is to have fun and be silly and laugh. And I was like, this is a mind blowing philosophy. Yeah. And, and so I always like kind of want that when mm. I'm, you know, when I get on stage, I'm like, whatever, whatever amount of fun you guys are having, I want it to, I want more now. And, that. <laughs> and, like, and that's, and that's like, you know, that's where I go. And like other people, like that's for me, I'm not talking like, that's not what comedy has to mm -hmm. be. That's not what stand up has to be. There are people who like have good ideas or like, you know, <laughs> are brilliant writers and performers. And I, and I don't like, that's not what I want. I want to yeah. just like joy. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, can be a struggle sometimes. <laughs> and then, and, and you started like what, like 10 years ago or 12? Yeah. I think I started in the winter of 2012. Okay. So okay. that's been, yeah, that's been uh, about a, uh, I can't do it. Does that mean it's been 13, 12? I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. A, a <laughs> over a decade. Yeah. You know, some of that in terms of my experience was, you know, pandemic years. So let's say, let's say 10 actual years. <laughs> True. So many count. years lost. Yeah. Yeah. And, but that was a, in terms of doing stand up, in terms of like appreciating it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. having it totally taken away. Cause it's so easy to be like, oh, I don't want to get up on stage or, oh, this guy, and, oh, why didn't I, uh, why didn't he book me or yeah. oh that person's not funny but they are get their headlining or that or all these little things that can creep in and ruin what is yeah. like started for me as this expression of like yeah. surprise and joy and um I'll just never like take it for granted again like yeah. every time I ever since like that first show back like with an audience I've just, I've enjoyed, I've taken so much pleasure in looking forward to it, into being on it, into afterwards, no matter how it went, appreciating that it happened. And so, that, I mean, that was a great outcome of mm -hmm. those years of... Yeah, you. Like, I mean, you will never imagine that suddenly you will be out of stage for such a long time and yeah, that you don't yeah. know if it's ever going to come back. Yeah. Or if the bars that are hosting those events are going to survive if the venues are going to be there once the pandemic is over. Right. Yeah. So yeah, the fact yeah. that like you, you, it's so easy within a very short time to just be like, yeah, yeah. There's just a place that these people own where they have a stage and microphone and a PA and chairs facing it and they serve drinks and they let me go up there and tell jokes. And like, you know, it becomes an industry or becomes a vocation or becomes an obsession, but it's like, no, that's actually kind of amazing that they set that up. Like that could have yeah. just not been there. Mm -hmm. yeah. They didn't have to do that. They could have not opened a bar. They could have done some, they could have just invested in crypto. You know? <laughs> like, it wasn't a great decision on their part. Yeah. And they let you just do it, say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's amazing. 